Hello, my name is Steve Taylor and I'm going to show you how to set up a BR1 Mini, in fact any of our Max devices. Well, first of all, let's explain what we have in front of us here. So, I'm currently pinging the default IP address of our BR1 Mini, which you can see here is not connected at the moment. So, let's power up the device. And here's the cable going to my laptop. Let's plug that into the LAN port. Okay, now you must be able to see that I'm pinging the default IP address of that BR1 Mini 192.168.50.1. I'll just wait a moment for us to get a reply from that IP address. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for the reply, it's worth explaining that this is a very similar setup whether you're using a BR1 Mini, as I am here, or something more high-end like our HD4 product. Um, the setup's exactly the same whether you've got one cellular connection or four. Um, so let's just wait a moment and uh, when we get a reply, I'll, um, I'll show you what we do to set this thing up. Okay, so we have a reply now from our IP address for our BR1 Mini. Let's go and take a closer look at the settings then of this device. Okay, so here we go. I can log in now using admin and admin. As you can see we have no internet connection at the moment so let's change the network settings so first of all let's uh, change the default LAN address I'm just going to change that to 192.168.150.1 and save the settings now you notice at the moment I'm not actually going to apply any of these changes I'm going to do that at the very end all in one go Let's change the access point. I'm just going to call this Pepwave Wi-Fi. And I'm going to remove the default password and give it something different. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to make sure that I've got this set up for the right country. Uh, I'm in the UK. just that's a warning to let you know that it's going to change the channels for the country that you've just selected so let's go and take a look at the security settings here so let's change the admin password give that something a little bit more secure okay now we have some various options here for whether you want to enable HTTPS for LAN and WAN, just LAN, just WAN, etc. So I'm going to suggest that uh, for this setup I'm having LAN only and HTTPS, and I'm going to change the default port as well to something a little bit more unique. And save that. Oh, I've got the password wrong. Hang on. better. Now I'm going to go in and change the time, uh, time zone sorry, I'm going to change that to GMT. Now here's where you could update the firmware, obviously I don't have an internet connection at the moment so I can't update the firmware, not via that button but I could choose to upload the uh, firmware file manually. So now I'm happy with all of those settings, I'm going to apply this, the changes. And at this point, because the IP address has changed, 
I'm no longer on the same network as the BR1 Mini. And now you can see I've now lost connectivity to 192.168.50.1. So I'm trying now to log into 192.168.150.1, but I can't because I don't have an IP address within that uh, range. So simply unplug the LAN port, plug it back in, and my PC will now get an IP address from that new DHCP range. Okay. Now I have a correct IP address in the right range. I can now log in to the BR1 Mini once again. And remembering, of course, that this now needs to have HTTPS 192.168.150.1 and the port I configured 7443. And yeah, we'll uh, proceed there um, and continue. So here we are back at our login screen, and I've also changed the password. Oops, forgotten. And we're back in now to our BR1 Mini. So now let's go ahead and uh, connect it to the internet. In this case, I'm going to use a cellular connection. So just pop off the retaining clip at the back here. Just unscrew that. Single screw. It's a little bit easier when it's not upside down as well to pop the SIM in. Yep, now I'm going to attach the Wi Fi antenna. Okay, and then I'm going to attach the two cellular antennas. give it some angle to try and get some signal to those antennas okay and what you'll be able to see very shortly is that the device will now obtain an IP address from the cellular network and give us access to the internet Thank you very much for watching.